Hello everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a midge pupa. This one is kind of a generic pattern for all kind of small insects that would float right in the surface. So here in the vise I have a partridge standard dry size 16 and this is a nice light hook to use for this pattern. The thread I'm using is the nano silk from Semperfly. This one is 18 knot and it's really really nice for all these small flies where you don't want to build up any bulk and to have a thin and light body. So we'll start right at the eye. Put down a couple of turns, then back up again to the eye, cut off the excess. And then here right at the eye, the first material that we will tie in is this polypro yarn in white. And for these really small flies, size 16, 18 and so forth, you don't need much at all. So this comes in this quite thick bunch here, going to cut off just a little bit. And here we have material for at least I would say, 10 flies. What you do is you take just a few of these strands off. The idea is to keep this really really thin. Then we're going to tie this in right here at the eye. And you want most of it facing forward. And then take it back a few turns and really pull on your turns to really bind down the material and then come in with your scissors and we're going to make this angled cut in order to give a nice tapered body and then what you do is you try on your way down to bind all these fibers down and if you manage to do this you will see that you will have this nice tapered body going here from the front to the back and then just take down the thread down a little bit here to where you want your body to start. For the body of this fly you could go with many materials. You could go with just a little dubbing with the tinsel or some body quills or any other material. You just want to keep this really thin. And what I like to use is some stripped peacock quill. And what I do you have here on the on the quill one darker side and one lighter so I put the darker side facing down and then tie it in as close to the tip as possible and then I'm going to bring this up, break it off and then continue up and here as I said you want to keep this as thin as possible what I like to do is to add just a tiny drop of glue here onto this thread base. And here what you want to do is to, to make just touching turns all the way up and as this gets thicker or wider I would say you will have this nice segmented and natural looking body and this technique works for almost any insect you could tie mosquitoes this way or an adult midge or for caddisfly or anything so I really really like peacock quill and then as you come up here to the thread you just tie it off and then to secure this quite fine and not so durable material I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue or varnish all over so one thin layer on top. This will bring out the segmentation as well as secure this peacock quill. This fly here is relatively easy because it involves only three materials so you can tie this down even to the smallest sizes. I tied one on a size 22 curved hook so I posted this on my Instagram so if you want to check this out I have the link down in the description. And here if you would tie a lot of these at the same time, the best way is to tie this part, then whip finish, then varnish, and then you can continue We're starting tying the next one. So then once the varnish is completely dry, we can continue with the thorax area and the gills, and these are the two last things that will tie on this fly. In order to do the thorax, what we'll use is one CDC feather and you want to choose one 
in a slightly darker color than the body and also with these full fibers here would they have a lot of small bristles on it this will catch the air and really help this fly float I will show you later how this will sit in the water so what you do is you take one of these feathers you bring all the fibers out 90 degrees from the stem and then the easiest way is just to take your clip here from Marc Petitjean and this magic tool clip you grab half of the fibers like this then with your scissors come in and cut these off close to the stem and now you have a few of these CDC fibers here in your clip ready to use and to apply this I'm going to use the split thread technique and this to spin your bobbin counterclockwise and then once it's flat you can come in with your dubbing needle and split the thread in two then insert your clip with the fibers and then holding this tight you have to start spinning this just a little with your fingers then pull out about 10 centimeters here and then spin the bobbin clockwise again this will cord the thread and trap all these fibers in between and this will create this little CDC chenille and then bring up all your turns and bring up your bobbin and here we have all these long fibers here that are a lot too long for this fly so what we'll do is some online dubbing and this is just you with your two fingers here you just rub this CDC onto the thread like you would for any dubbing and this will create this short and quite thin CDC dubbing then in order to get some gills on this fly and also this will help the fly float a little better is with a dubbing needle we will do a loop here with these fibers and this loop here will also trap some air and will help the fly float and then just a few turns here make sure that your loop is the right size if not you can just pull on it a little and then with your CDC dubbing here we want to make a few turns right near the eye and this will create our quite short thorax and what you do is you bring all materials back and a few turns just in front this will help this little bubble or wing buds or gills here to stand right up and then the last thing to do is to whip finish before continuing cutting off materials so three turns pull tight and here I have one fiber that's just a little bit too long so cut this down and then what you will do is to cut these fibers off here that are standing right to the back and we want to cut this off quite close so all these materials here will trap some air and also this white here will stand out quite nicely and represent the gills on these midges and this CDC dubbing here it makes for a nice little thicker thorax than the body and also will help the fly float so this fly will then, once it's in the water, it will stand about like this with this part floating over the surface and this will be just underneath and there we have the Mitch pupa thanks for liking and commenting, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time